In today's Monday makeup lesson, I'm going to show you how to create this look using all drugstore products. If you're new to the Makeup Tier channel, then click subscribe below. It's totally free. And let's get started. When it comes to drugstore eyeshadows, it is really tricky to find good matte shades. They do shimmers quite well, but mattes are actually hard to come across. I do find that they are improving, however. These ones by Essence are really good, and they also have a customized little palette that you can get too, which is pretty cool. Kind of gives it that high-end feel. Catrice also do something similar to this. And then as far as eyeshadow primers go, I like the Wet n Wild one. I feel like it's the most affordable and really seems to do the job quite well. And Wet n Wild is also great for their little pigments too, which come in like little salt shakers so you don't end up wasting product either. So I really like those ones. As far as mascaras go from the drugstore, I really like L'Oreal, Maybelline, Wet n Wild, and this one is by Flormar, which I really like as well. It's kind of gimmicky because if you twist the top, you can change the shape of the mascara wand, but I actually really love this mascara. As far as lashes go, you can't go wrong with Kiss Lashes. They are some of my absolute favorites. I would, however, recommend getting some Duo Glue. It's the best glue and it'll just make the application so much easier for you. When it comes to makeup brushes, I would actually recommend getting a set because you just get a little bit more for your money. However, if you are only like doing your makeup maybe once a month, a couple of brushes will do you. So just get a flat brush, a blending brush, and then some sort of liner style brush, like an angled brush or something like this flat one. I'll put a discount code and some of my favorites in the description box. I am affiliated with Blank Canvas Cosmetics, so just wanted to give you a heads up on that. They're the brushes that I use all the time, and I love them and highly recommend them. So let's start off by creating this look. We're gonna start with the primer. Now this primer is a clear primer, so I actually added a little bit of concealer. However, you don't wanna go over the top with this primer. A little goes a long way because otherwise it'll start to get patchy on the eyelid, particularly if you have dry lids like me. So just apply a very small amount of this across the lid and it will really do its job. But a little goes a long way. So we're starting off with our mid-tone. So this is about one shade darker than your skin tone. And this is your medium shade. We are going to be using a darker one, so bear that in mind. And I'm going to be applying this with that blending brush or a fluffy brush. And we're going to be applying this in the crease of the eye. And the crease of the eye is where your eyelid creases into your eye shape, but really refers to any area above this, but stopping underneath the brows. So we're going to apply this in this area, making sure to leave a small gap. We also want to always start on the outer corner and blend inward so that we don't get a build of a product in the inner corner. Wherever you put the brush down first will apply the most amount of pigment and that's why we always start in the outer corner. You also want to make sure that you're starting just slightly in from the outer corner so that you don't end up blending your eyeshadows out too far. And a great way to make sure you're keeping within this imaginary line is to take your brush, line it up at the edge of your nose, eye, and brow and just blend inwards from this point. This will prevent your eyes from drooping downwards and give them a nice lifted appearance. So holding the brush a little further down on the handle and keeping the hand kind of low, we're going to apply this in the crease of the eye, blending from the outer corner in. Once we've done that, we're then going to bring it down onto the lid. And you should end up with something that looks like this. Now you'll notice that the crease area needs a little extra blending and that's totally fine. Cause what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our blending brush and instead of working across, we're gonna turn the brush so it's more vertical and this will just help with the blend. This only works if you're using this particular style of brush. If you don't have this particular style of brush, just use a clean blending brush. We're blending this over and back, making sure to leave a gap underneath the brows but ideally we want to make sure we're blending and fading that shade all the way up until it disappears. And you should end up with something that looks like this. Then taking the darker matte shade, we're going to apply this with a flat brush. And what I like to do is I like to come down from above and press this at the lash line working all the way along and look down in a mirror so you can really see what you're doing. Once again, starting on the outer corner and blending our way in. You want to make sure it's slightly higher on the outer two thirds as well. 
and then it should slightly sweep inwards following your natural lash line. Once you've done that, you can then bring your hand low and start to very softly smudge this along. Try not to pick up any extra product at this point. If you do have any harsh lines, you can always use your blending brush to soften this out. But don't pick up any additional product, just use the brush as is. And you should end up with something that looks like this. And I'm going to take a little bit of that pigment onto my fingertips and tap this over the lid. If you're not great at blending, this will kind of camouflage any little mistakes by adding a little bit of shine and catching the light. The next step is totally optional, but I'm going to take a black eyeshadow. And I'm going to be taking this sort of flat brush or an angled brush, and I'm going to push this at the lash line. You don't have to do this, but I would recommend giving it a go because it does make such a difference. So you want to aim for your lashes and push this all the way along your lash line. You don't have to blend this up too far and it should not surpass the original dark shade that we used. I'm then going to take the brush a little lower and I'm going to push this in between my lashes. What this will do is create the illusion of thicker lashes, but we're not touching inside the eye, we're pushing this in between the lashes, so try to avoid getting it too close to your eye, otherwise you may end up sort of creating like a little irritation because the powder is going to get in there. So make sure you're pushing this at the lash line only. And then I'm going to take the brush and work this underneath the lashes on the lower part, so right underneath those lashes. And then taking that flat brush we used earlier, I'm just going to sweep a little bit of the mid-tone right underneath to blur out the black. And then you'll end up with something like this. Apply some mascara and some falsies. I used the Flirty Ones by Kiss. And there you go, that is the finished look and those are some of my favorite drugstore brands. I just wanted to do something nice and simple this week. Definitely let me know what else you guys would like to see and please share what your favorite drugstore products are and if you think I should try them out. I'll link some videos where I've used drugstore products in these boxes here so you can click those. I hope you guys are keeping safe and well and I will see you in a video really soon.